Hello guys and welcome. My name is NG Paradox and welcome to this new series in EU4 and this is the Art of War downloadable content. That map did look gorgeous actually by the way, I just wanted to say. But yeah, so we're playing the Art of War downloadable content. Waiting for this downloadable content for a long time. It looks really good. Not only are there new nations and stuff and cultures, but lots of other little features have either been introduced or improved. So I'm really looking forward to this. So I asked some people who they wanted me to be um, in my old EU uh, series, and some people mentioned Fiodoro. And I really like the look of Fiodoro. Not only does it look like a challenge, look, look where we are. <laughs> We're surrounded by big baddies. But also, we have an interesting thing. Where is it? Cultures. We are actually culture Byzantine Gothic. And from what I can tell, we're the only Gothic culture in the whole world. So that is really nice. So I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully it can be a good one. Um, we're probably going to need a little bit of luck. But let's go through our nation. Let's just dive right in. So we're King Manuel uh, Olube of Gothia. You don't get much better than that. Of Gothia. He's a pretty good leader. Uh, let's go through. Diplomacy. We can have four allies. So we'll look at that in a second. Uh, the economy. Let's lower this. Just the general things to begin with. Uh, trade. Let's put someone here, I guess. Anything else we can do. Um, we can go here, but we can't actually reach here, sadly. Oh, well. We'll have to wait for another day. We are Eastern Technology Group. This means we're going to have to try and westernize in the future, hopefully. And uh, we have our own ideas, Fiodoro ideas. They added a lot of new ideas for lots of nations. I had a quick look at these before we started, and I wasn't that impressed. Uh, sorry, impressed by our ones, but we'll see. Who knows? I improve our prestige or take Kaffa. Kaffa is uh, here in Genoa. That might be too difficult to get. Actually, wait, let's look. We should make a rival. Kandar. So we have that. Insult Kandar, our rival. That makes sense. What do we get? Military power and prestige. I like that. I think we should insult them. That's quite an easy thing to do. So we'll take that. Uh, Kathar, I think, would be too difficult. Prestige, yeah. 50 prestige. Let's do this. So we've got that. Stability, all looks good. Um, religion, obviously, we're orthodox. Military, we can have one more soldier and two more ships. Okay. So let's get going then. Let's build a army, man. We have three soldiers. So we'll go and build a knight. Try and balance out a bit. How many horses can I have? 60%. Okay. So we can have 60% horses. Um, yeah, so next we need to look for allies. Now, this would be a problem, I think. There's so many people around us who could easily destroy me. So, Lithuania. Let's have a look. Dynastic Alliance. Okay, so Royal Marriage 26. That's not that far away. It might We could probably improve relations and get them to join us. Poland. 29, okay. Muscovy. 41, 46. Hmm. Crimea. Never. Genoa. Yeah, probably can't ever do that. I know the 1000s added on because of the opinion. We can obviously improve this opinion to plus, but I'm still looking at that and it'd still be 60. That's too much. Uh, Caucasia. So this place is also orthodox. So they'd, they'd be quite a good ally, maybe. We could improve relations with them. Georgia. Maybe improve relations with these guys, get them to join us. Uh, Trebizond. Ah, we could get Trebizond to join us. That might be a good ally. Uh, Kanda is obviously uh, Sunni. The Muslims probably would never join us. Byzantine. Oh, a royal marriage. And 31 for an alliance. So we could get the Byzantines to join us. That could be a good choice. Uh, Wallachia. 22. Ah, these guys could be a good choice as well. Hmm. So we have some selections. Uh, probably... Uh, Caucasia, Georgia, and Wallachia. So we'll choose one of them. We have an alliance here. We could probably make an alliance quickly here. So one, two. One of these, and maybe then one of these two. Try and convince one of maybe these three, actually, to join us. Which will take a bit longer time. 
Um, but also Crimea. So Crimea, what do they think of us? They're neutral. Genoa is neutral. Okay, so no one's really going to probably destroy us, hopefully. I, I want to improve na relations with Crimea because they have an eight stack right here. So let's improve relations. For now, just so they don't attack me. Uh, the Byzantines. Let's get that marriage. Okay, so we've got everything sorted now. We've got things starting to go. And let's head off. So I'm playing Iron Man as well, just because it seems to be the popular thing to do. Oh, Alliance from Trebizond. Might as well. Um, it's not a great alliance, but it's better than nothing. Okay, 2831. We still need to improve relations. The 12th of December. So we have to wait till 12th of December. Increase time a bit. Genoa. Let's see what everyone's doing then. Ale and Alexandria, Lithuania. Um, no allies for them. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on Crimea and Genoa. They're the ones who are going to destroy us if anyone is. Almost the 12th. There we go. Troop relations. And we'll leave this up. If we can get these guys as an ally, I think we can maybe do well. And it'd be great if, uh, if this works out and we can help each other. It might be really good. We could help maybe fight back the Ottomans, restore the glorious Roman Empire, and maybe we could take this side. We'll see. We could control the Black Sea together. Oh, and a royal marriage from them, obviously. Oh, yes, I was meant to uh, insult Kandar. I forgot. Eh, we'll, we'll wait until we have this alliance. 129. So, wait until we have this alliance. And then we'll insult Kandar. Completely forgot about that. I clicked it and straight away just forgot. It's okay, just one more. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Stop relations. Wait for him to come back. Offer alliance and done. So there we go. We now have an alliance with them. Perfect. So that's quite good then. Uh, they have five men, three men here. Okay, so together they have a Maybe a strong fleet. No, that's Ottomans mostly. I have a seven fleet here. So maybe they can help us combat uh, Crimea or Genoa. Let's wait for him to come back. There we go. And we'll insult these guys. That will give them a Casse Belli. Um, but they're allied with Caraman. I don't think that's really a big threat. There we go. 25 military power. That is really useful. And some prestige. So we can either improve prestige or save our brethren in Kaffa. Well, they're allied with Lithuania. So I don't really like the look of that. That could be bad. Any disputed successions? Nope, none that we could be a part of. Yeah, Poland, Riga, and Genoa. Why are they allied with Genoa? That'd be great for us. What is Genoa doing? They're not doing anything. What's their army like? Genoa, Genoa. They have 6,000 men. So we're not far off. We have about 4,000. But then the fleet is when there'll be a problem. If they can get their fleet here, so if they can get their army here, then we might be in trouble. 11 ships, 4 transports. Do you know what? We could probably defeat Genoa, but the fact that allied with Lithuania. Damn it. It would make it impossible right now. Crimea. Maybe I should stop improving relations with them and start paying a claim. Okay, we'll wait for our diplomat to come back. Yep, there we go. We could fabricate a claim on this place. Yedi Shkull. Yedi Shkull. We could try and fabricate a claim on here, but then we'd be split. And right next to the Lithuania. I do want to take this actually. This would be the best place. It's the center of trade and everything. But the problem is, is yeah, just that alliance. How can we break that alliance? I'll leave it for now. I'm not going to click either because I don't think we can get the prestige up. How much money? We don't have enough money to be able to get one of these. Uh, we have four now. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now then. We're going to look then for other allies. So we now have Byzantine and Trebizond. 
So Georgia. Maybe you'd be a good choice. We need to expand as quick as possible though. We don't want to stay this size. Uh, not inflation's dynastic. Minus 30, minus 22. So I'm going to assume that George is probably more powerful than them. But I could be wrong there. We probably should check that. And Valachia. Yeah, 20. We could probably get one of these two to like us quickly. 26. Wouldn't take long to get a marriage with Lithuania. Muscovy. 44. Yeah. Do you know what? Probably one of these two is better for now. And then after we go for Lithuania, we'll meet the allies. I'm going to say Wallachia is not that good for us. Georgia, I'm going to go for. Let's check. Georgia or K K uh, Kirkasia. Kirkasia. Whatever you call them. Let's check their armies. Where's. Oh, Kirkasia. Let's check them first. Kirkasia, where are you? Kirkasia has about 4,000 men. Can have 6,000. That's not that good, actually. That's about as good as me. And Georgia. Five to seven. That's a little better. I think we should just get Georgia as our ally. Before we tap by Crimea, they can't really get here unless they get access through Caucasia, which they would, but would they actually bother to do it? That's the question. I'm going to improve relations with them for now anyway, until I figure out a better plan. Until we find out a better plan, really, yeah. Golden Horde, who are you allied with? Uzbeks, Crimea, still no one. I can't believe they allied with Lithuania, though. Genoa might actually be a good option if they just weren't allied. Ah. If they weren't allied, I'd actually think about it. We have no diplomats right now. A call to arms. Okay, the nation Trebizond, your favorite allies are question that you come to the aid in Quara Quahundu conquest of Trebizond against Quara, this one. It's a defensive war. Okay, allied with Shervan. Where's Shervan? This one. So these two are allied. Uh, twice as expensive. We would join just a regular ally. Okay, let's have a look. Georgia. So Georgia is also helping. This looks bad. I'm just going to put it out there. But I can't afford to lose prestige. So we're just going to accept and join the war. Uh, let's have a look. So they still have more men than all three of us put together. That is bad. That is bad. Okay. They like us a bit more now. We're already improving relations with them. Improve our prestige. Um, yeah, there's not much I can really do. We can't even get there, probably. I'd have to get these guys to give me military access and these ones. I have one transport ship. Is it looking good? Okay, yeah, Siobhan did not join. But take away 3,000 and 1,000 of these. They're still way outnumbered. These guys are far bigger. I can't see them winning. At all. Yeah, even with my help. <laughs> Even with our help, they'd be pretty screwed. Trebizond, you should have made more allies. 20, we've almost got them as friends. Want to make sure everyone's at war or something, people around us. Yet more Moldavia is a march under Poland. It's basically a vassal, um, a sort of military vassal. Yep, as you can see, they're getting completely destroyed. Yep, that is the end of them. Trebizond is screwed. Sadly. That's a shame. We're getting Crimea to like us. They would actually accept an alliance, which is kind of nice. The only problem is, though, they're basically getting destroyed. So they're not going to have any army after this. Do I really want them, then, as an ally? If they have no army? Let's see, maybe Crimea would join us. 
No. <laughs> Probably not, yeah. You can see they're 59 still. Neutral attitude. The army size and stir, Pierre. But Kramer is at 8,000 just there. That really worries me. They're now allied with no gear. Makes them even more strong. Still with Lithuania. Oh, Lithuania, those at war. Sweden and Novgorod. Okay. What's this war about? Swedish war for independence. Ah, so actually, maybe if we attack Genoa now, Lithuania would not come and help. But we can't, we have to wait till the end of this war. Okay. So I could still put my plan into action, the plan I had to take Kaffa. Because their only ally is Lithuania. Oh, and the Papal States. Eh, I can't imagine the Papal States will cause much problems. The Byzantium would probably be able to take care of their ships while I take these. Maybe we'll check once this war's over. There's no point even thinking about it until this war is finished. Both of them are not at war. Still would not accept a royal marriage because of the neutral attitude and also distance. But we could get an alliance. But they've mostly lost their military. Look, there we go. Trebizond being captured by these heathens. These heretics. We'll increase speed a bit. We've got a bit more gold. Do you know what? I'm going to make an investment. Uh, build a ship. We're going to buy a bark so it can patrol our trade. Might as well. I can't really spend any money on anything anyway. Let's just do that. And maybe build another transport so I can actually then actually help in other wars more. That might be a point. I'll wait till we have even more gold before I think about that. Just need that war to end, really. Hopefully Lithuania's war lasts a long time. Hopefully. Can't believe that they allied with Crimea. That's like the worst thing Lithuania allying with one of these two. 22% right now. They're taking over Georgia. Georgia's been silly and just going for the attack. Ah, you silly Georgians. You didn't stand a chance. We want them as an ally. I don't want them to lose men. Really, I don't. Do you know what? I'm going to take away our guy in proven relations. Yeah. Stop improving relations. We want you for other stuff at the moment. So there we go. So as you look, Crimea quite likes us. Uh, we can never have a marriage though, because the faith. Yeah, we probably could never get them to ally with us, but still it means they like us. Hopefully it means maybe they're less likely to attack me. Genoa still don't like me. I think they're, they're more interested in other places, I think. They seem to be... Oh, they've made a soldier here, though. Ally in Alexandria, yeah. I don't think they really bothered about us. So we need to make a new ally. They're about to lose. Wallachia? Wallachia, Kukasia. I might just go with these guys because they're close to us. They could, uh, they could go against Crimea or Genoa. Let's go for them. No allies themselves, though. Let's improve relations with them. Or I could do a co covert. Damn it, there's so many things to do. So little time. Let's, let's go for these guys for now. Because we seem to have no relations at all. No one seems to like us at all. Just waiting for the war to end. I'm really liking the new music, though. I did buy the new music uh, just because I wanted to. It sounded like it could be quite good, and I'm just listening to it now, and it sounds really good. I don't know if you guys can hear it very well. We'll send him off to do this. We're losing gold at the moment. Well, not losing, but we have less gold than before. It sounds really good, the music. It, it reminds me of like a bit like Chris Cornell, that person singing. I don't know if you guys know Chris Cornell, Soundgarden and stuff. It's really good. Uh, Italian engineer available. Hire the engineer. Lose ducats. Lose prestige. Let's go for this then. We're gaining military power as well. 